Hi Dillinger, thank you so much for joining us today. Did you enjoy your set? Loved it. Brilliant Lots of energy there. on stage. Yeah, today. loved it in there. It's great in there. Oh, amazing. So tell us, who would you say that your artistic influences are? <laughs> Straight in with the questions. <laughs> um, there's so many. Bobby Bird, um, Marshall Jefferson, Aretha Franklin. There's just loads, it's just loads and loads and loads. I'm very eclectic. Yeah. Even a bit of you two, everything. Yeah. Blondie. Brilliant. Every, all different, everything. Mix up. Mix up, different genres. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Together. Blue note stuff, jazz. I mean, all different stuff, yeah. Brilliant. How would, how would you describe like your early experiences in the jungle and drum and bass scene? Oh, it was brilliant. It was, you know what I mean, the birth of um, uh, dance music, you know what I'm saying? Just straight off the acid house and you know, straight after that, straight into it. Hardcore yeah. and yeah, jungle, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and here we are. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, would you say, because how long have you been doing this? <sighs> Roughly, you can round it up. <laughs> so long. <laughs> A long time. <laughs> and what, what would you say keeps you motivated to keep going? Um, just it's a journey, isn't it? I suppose just evolution. It's like you know, drum bass is massive globally now. And it's um, it's great to see it all over the world, in, international. Yeah. Great artists all over the world. That's brilliant at the moment. Yeah. Absolutely. What what advice would you give to someone coming into the drum and bass scene now? Um, what producer or? Yeah, or, any yeah, any producer, I guess uh, yeah. Producer, I'd say um. Think outside, think outside of the box. So, I know a lot of kids have grown up listening to drum and bass now, so they just make drum and bass and it just sounds like drum and bass. Mm. Like there's not much outside influence. And I miss that, do you know what I'm saying? But um, So that would be my thing, think outside the box. Yeah, take Get on another journey somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. love that, love that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've got a quick round of this or that. These are very unserious right. questions. That's why that's how I pitch them. Unserious questions, or you're going to choose this or that. The first one is iPhone or Android? iPhone. Uh, do you prefer digital or analog sounds? Analog. Mm. Uh, listening to your music through headphones or speakers? Speakers. Do you prefer the original or the remix? Original. Okay. Festival or club? Club. Now, would you prefer an all expensive pay trip around the world or 100,000k in cash? 100k. Okay. Uh, last few. First one is Does a straw have one or two holes? Two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last one then is. Ooh. Would you rather to have to always wear heavy boots or never to be able to wear shoes? <laughs> I think I'll go with the boots. Okay, love it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for Thank taking you. the time to speak with us today.